Hello, everyone. Mike Newfound Past back with the morning pack and ship Q and A. Just got done with Scott the Bearded Picker show. Big thank you to him and all his subscribers on that show. I literally went in with 805 subscribers and went out with 905, 100 subscribers in one show. So big thank you to Scott. Hey, Michelle. Good morning. Hey, Marcy. Good morning. Whoop, I'm dropping all kinds of stuff back here. Forgot to put my boxes up. I got a few to pack and ship out. Good morning, Hawk. How you doing? Good morning, John. Yeah, 100 subscribers from Scott Show, 805 to 905. Crazy, crazy. And big thanks to him for that. That goes a long way towards the uh, push to 1,000 subscribers, you know. So let me get this. Uh... Good morning, Gina. Good morning, Craig. Uh, good morning, morning, ma Maniac Picker. I don't think I have your name. But no. Good morning, Gina. Yeah, Scott's awesome, you know, and he's pretty much considered a big YouTuber now, you know, but he's still just the same guy. He always has been, always will be, and that's the type of people you want to be around, you know. The Family Flips, good morning. 24 Picker, good morning. Thanks for the new sub. Appreciate it. Good morning, Dawn. Dawn is uh, two hip chicks. Thank you. I'm, I'm very appreciative and thankful this guy had me on. Like I said, a hundred subs just from that that show this morning, and yeah, it's just amazing. The family flips is Joe. Okay, let me note that down, Joe. I have, I have a list. So, <laughs> the family flips, Joe. Eventually, I learn them, but you know, just to make a note. Thanks, Craig. Craig says, I hope you can make the thousand by the end of the year. Appreciate it. Yeah. And if you, if you're in any groups like Facebook groups and stuff, you know, you know, hit those people up. Appreciate it. Good morning, Anissa. How is everyone doing? Yeah. The, uh, the truth finally giving into global shipping program, custom cost to Canada are becoming insane. Yeah, absolutely. That I, I think global shipping program is just the, it's, it's the path of least, least resistance, you know? So, and, you know, I feel kind of bad that the buyers have to pay higher fees, but you know, do they expect us to pay the higher fees? You know? So, and Piper John said he had zero sales on eBay yesterday, but crazy busy day on Amazon. That's awesome. Um, I honestly thought I was going to have a goose egg on eBay yesterday, but late in the day, it was after seven o'clock. I sold two things, one big thing, uh, which made the sales day really nice. And I sold one thing this morning already. So I'm going to get all three of them ready here in a little bit. <laughs> Hello, Rick. Rick, the Star City Picker. How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, Don. He got you over 50. I've been on the show before and I got 70 subscribers from him and now 100. So Scott is directly responsible for 170 subs on my channel. Crazy numbers. Um, you know, Hawk, Hawk is asking about zip pull repair. If I had something to repair, it'd be easiest, but I just, I've been passing over that kind of stuff. But, um, let me think about that. Um, maybe I'll just find a cheapo jacket and just do one that doesn't need repair just to show. So, ah, uh, Marcy, yeah. But you know, you, at least you know that in those 45 days past, you can sign up. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Tom, a percentage of what, Tommy? <laughs> right now it's a zero. So <laughs> I know you're just kidding. 24 pickers. L. Do you, do you pronounce it L like the letter L or is it L E? 24 picker. Marky, Marcy's looking for some subscribers. Yeah, we, we pushed her to start making videos, so people should sub to her. Let me see here. There you go. Let me make you a hammer as well, Marcy. Give you a hammer. 
Well, thanks for listening, Nathan. Nathan's driving to his good old nine to five job. Let me paste this. So I doubt there's anyone that will join in. I know Justin's busy. Um, Andy's probably at his normal nine to five and so is Lauren, but I'll pop it over there into the group chat just in case. Never can tell who has the day off. Okay. So, yeah, Craig's working on a website. Um, we talked about that a little bit. I'm glad you're doing that. Oh, you're welcome, Marcy. Always need more mods, it seems like. I should give Craig one as well. I didn't realize Craig wasn't one. He's always in here. Because you never can tell when... Yeah, the wrench. The, I said the hammer, didn't I? It'd be funny if it was a hammer, wouldn't it? Because you ban hammer. <laughs> yeah, everybody back to work today. Yeah, my, yesterday, my wife was able to telework, but today she's back. She had to go back into work for the first time since the holidays. So I guess that's the same day for everyone. Wrenched it up. Yep. Okay, so let me see here. First, I know the first thing I got to pack up, and it's a it's a doozy. Uh, definitely not going to be eligible for pirate ship. I know that for a fact because it's pretty big. Yep. Okay. Got a coffee mug and some coats and jackets and some a big home improvement item. Oh, I didn't want that one now. I changed my, uh, I was going to wait till after the new year to change over to, I was doing, when I initially started full-time selling on eBay, I did calculated shipping. I changed to free shipping when eBay was emphasizing that and tried that for a while and they worked okay. But the reason I don't like doing free shipping is because it seemed like I always got orders from the West Coast and West Coast shipping is killer. Um, so I changed back, uh, the 26 to calculated shipping, but free returns. So we're going to see how that goes so far. So good. Let me grab these items here. See if I can get these down without crashing stuff on my head. Hey, I did it. I'm surprised. Gotta find my shrink wrap. I'm gonna wrap those up. I'm definitely gonna Franken box this. Uh, let's see here. Yep, yeah, Craig, coffee mugs. Make some money. Make some money on the coffee mugs. And this I picked up a mug yesterday. I'm a, and and I am extremely picky with the mugs too, but uh, they're definitely worth picking. Yeah, Doring mugs are crazy. Death Wish coffee. Oh, spotting mugs in the water. Are you talking about coffee mugs, Craig? It's just you know you just get the eye after you've seen uh, so many that sold. You just kind of laser in. Good morning, John. Uh, John's not a I'm add him a wrench. Yep. Okay, so let's get this one free craft up. I got my roll over here. I think it's over here somewhere. What did I do with it? I must have used it and put it. Set it down somewhere. <laughs> That's why I'm going to, I'm going to start today of my redoing this whole area because I have too much stuff scattered everywhere and, uh, yeah, waste more time looking for stuff. <laughs> Yeah, uh, L, it's, um, they're, they're worth picking up. I mean, they're not 
quick by any stretch. Well, some are, you know, some are just like everything, but uh, uh, coffee mugs are definitely uh, underappreciated because they're so low cost. You know, I pick up mugs for 50 cents, you know, 75 cents a dollar, sometimes two dollars, depending on what it is. But you can sell them, you know, anywhere from 20 to 35 dollars and even higher, you know. Thanks, Craig. 45, 40 watching. Crazy. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, Arkansas deal flipper in the middle of the end of the organizing my office too. Yep. Yeah, I'm constantly Craig like searching for new items, and that's what helps my wife being interested in doing this as well because we're constantly learning and telling each other and like, oh, this is cool and that's cool and that's you know saw this over here. Man, I can't remember what I did with my. Uh, my shrink wrap stuff. Oh, I think it's over here. Don't you hate that? You know, you said, oh, I got a big roll. I guess I can use the big roll. I don't have a handle for the big roll, but it's okay. It'll still work. Just a little bit more difficult. See what you guys. Uh, Marcy's Starbucks mug are the most hit and miss mugs out there. Um, There's some that were uh, limited edition. You know, if he can find the what are they called? Where, where? Basically, it's the city and state mugs. Those are usually worth picking up. I forget what they're called. And even though I have ten of them upstairs, so we're here or where we are. Or, where we were or <laughs> something like that but uh it's just like anything marshall just look them up you know some of the early ones are worth a lot of money actually you can put in some of the early ones aren't worth a lot of money like i found a, a washington you know i live in washington dc area oops i need to get that off of there before price tag still on there i gotta pay attention don't i but um yeah, I sold a Washington, D.C. Starbucks mug, and I thought, you know, when I initially saw it, I thought it would be, you know, a $30 mug, but it ended up only being about a $15 mug, so it happens, but still made money off of it because, you know, we only gave $0.50, cents, $0.75 cents for it, whatever. So, yeah. Okay. Price tag is off. I left the price tag on there. Let me make sure there's not another one on there. I think so. Yeah, just like anything. Well, this isn't too hard to wrap these up. Shipping on these are going to be a beast. Um, but. I just sold these for really good money too, which you'll see in a future sold video. These were in a haul video, probably four or five haul videos ago. I'm just, I can't remember. It all runs together, you know. Somebody was asking in the comments yesterday if I would show what I'm packing up. That when I'm packing up, I'm just showing the, you know, packing up process, taking questions showing you the process on comparing shipping and all that good stuff and just hanging out you know if you have any questions and that kind of stuff because I'll, I'll show her you know everything that's sold in a sold video and when i say everything i mean everything the good the bad and the ugly so and those are heavy shipping is going to be expensive Okay. What you guys got going on here? Hello, Dan. Yeah, and that's pretty typical, Craig. Uh, majority of the mugs in his area are 99 cents. It's typical. Uh, you know, when I go half off days, I'm going to for 50 cents, which I really like. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of earlier, Snow Rider. Uh, the You Are Here mugs, yeah.
I haven't yet. Craig, Craig asked anyone ever ships an item with a thrift store sticker still on it. I was like, I have not yet, but I almost did with this one. Like I was like, Oh, the sticker's still on there. <laughs> Gotta pay attention. I mean, that would stink, but it happens. Yeah, my and this is my covert shipping teaser. Yep. That's what it is. Okay, so let's see how much this is gonna be like I said, this is gonna be expensive. This is going to California. And I know it's gonna be expensive. But I sold these for a really good amount of money too. So I know it'll eat into the profit there. And I've you know these will probably fit pretty good in one of these priority mail tubes, but these will probably also be better for FedEx shipping um, because they're not eligible for cubic because they're too long. I'm going to weigh these and check FedEx first because we'll compare Postal Service with FedEx and see what's up. And these are really heavy, really long. These are 16 and a half pounds. So I bet FedEx is going to be the best option on this. Let's just see. Take the measure out. These are forty eight long, but only six wide and three deep. Forty eight to six and three. So 48, six, and three. Yeah, so priority mail, $53.84. I bet you FedEx is gonna beat that and probably fairly significantly. So, so priority mail, 53.84. Let's go to FedEx. Yeah, FedEx home delivery, $25.31. So what's that, half of what pro the priority mail was? Yeah, so definitely doing FedEx home delivery. Half. That's crazy. $25. Deal. <laughs> so what I'm going to do with these, these are super sturdy. I've wrapped them up. What I'm going to do is just, uh, I'm not going to box them. I'm going to wrap them in a triple layer packing paper. Uh, yeah, I got the section of it over here. Yeah, there it is. This is a really heavy duty triple layer moving packing paper, and I'm going to just pack those up in here. Call it good. The problem is I don't have a huge surface because I have crap everywhere, so it's going to be challenging to get these rolled up in here good. Let me do it right here on the floor. Whoa. This is, I mean, I guess I get why FedEx has their own jets and all that stuff, but it's crazy the on big stuff how much cheaper FedEx is than the postal service. It is just way, way, way cheaper usually. Big items coast to coast. The way it is usually. Take Peter. placeholder pieces I came straight down here from doing Scott shows so the other two items I have to dig out so 
after I get this one done. Bear with me. Hope everyone had a good holiday season, good Christmas. Uh, we didn't do much. We just uh, cooked a good meal. I cooked some prime rib and some corn casserole, and some green bean casserole, some mashed potatoes. So we ate good. But we just stayed around the house. between my wife's work and having pets it's almost impossible for us to make it back to home or to our families for christmas because our normal pet center is my niece and of course i'm not going to take her away from the family <laughs> you know that would be uh, defeating the purpose you know so but I see them all other times a year. I try to get back to the area at least once a year and usually tw twice. My, all my wife's family is in Missouri, mine's in Arkansas. So it's pretty close. If we go, we can a lot of times hit them both up. And it's going to work out pretty well. I like about this pack, you know, this is a sturdy item, but this packing paper is super thick, super heavy duty, and, you know, put a lot of tape on it. <laughs> it looks like a set of skis or something. Like this. Ooh. But that'll work out just fine. And FedEx, let me reweigh. Make sure everything's accurate after that paper I put on there. The paper probably added, you know, 10 ounces or so. So it's heavy duty. Yeah, I'm over a pound actually. 17 pounds, 10 ounces. 17 pounds, 10 ounces. So let's alter that a little. It's only up two ounces. I put in 17 pounds, eight, eight ounces. So. 17 pounds, 10 ounces. Yeah, still the same. $25.31. Deal. Okay, for FedEx, I do... I don't do my normal Dymo labels. For FedEx, I have a half sheet labels. I put in the my actual inkjet printer. They're sticky labels still. Let me show you. And they're just half... And you know, I'll use one half and I'll turn around and use the other half when I have another FedEx package. With Cubic coming around, I don't use FedEx near as much anymore, but with big stuff going a long ways, I still use FedEx every once in a while. Put that label in there, print it. Can change my printer settings, make sure I change it from a Dymo to my uh, regular printer over there. Change it to US letter. There we go. All right. And there she goes. Let's see what you guys got going on. 50 people. You guys are awesome. Hit the thumbs up. I appreciate it. It must have been a whole roll of tape. Yeah, close. No, it wasn't. Just put it around several times. Yeah. Pick and roll, that's an awesome name. Marcy got a Dymo for Christmas, that's awesome. Like, I think I've talked about this, Marcy, with the Dymo, with the Dymo, with eBay. Uh, it's, it's a Dymo 4XL, I'm assuming. It's the Dymo 4XL, when you go to set it up on eBay, use the Zebra four by six settings, and it'll work perfectly. So there's no Dymo settings on eBay. Use the Zebra 4x6. And no problem. So here's the label. Peel it off of there. Set that one up there for later use. And stick this on there. And 
right. And there she goes. That's package number one. I just knocked a bunch of stuff over, of course. That's what I need to redo down here. I'm constantly looking for stuff and knocking stuff over. Because I have stuff just stacked everywhere. Okay, so on to the next one. Okay, so do we hunt for this mug or do we go get these jackets? <laughs> I know where these jackets are. I'm going to go get those jackets real fast. They're just right here in the garage. Okay, a couple jackets. Get over to the classic label printing page. I said these just sold this morning. So this is my first sale for today, hopefully of many, but not going to hold my breath because I haven't listed anything. I probably haven't listed anything. I listed one thing like on the 26, but other than that, I haven't listed anything at all. So I'm going to put these in a 12 by 12 by 8 box. Excuse me. My puppies are down here with me as usual. They usually stay laying over there in the sun. One of my dogs has, they're, they're sisters, they're siblings, but it's amazing how different they are. Uh, Friday is just easy going. You know, it doesn't matter if you're there or not, but Sadie has severe separation anxiety. So if I leave her upstairs and I'm down here, she'll pee on the floor and do all kinds of craziness. So I bring them, learn that lesson, I bring them downstairs with me every time. You know, and I've tried everything with Sadie. Uh, Thunder shirts and treats and chews. And she just uh, doesn't like being left alone. So I just take her. That's a benefit of this lifestyle. I just take her with me wherever I go. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. I think I'm going to line this with some tissue paper. Get a little uh, Christmassy. some red tissue paper still kind of the holiday season and I have a bunch of this tissue paper so Ooh, drop it okay. a lot of these jackets up they're uh, the same brand same size just different colors same brand same size same pretty much same style yeah, they sold for pretty good money. You'll see it in the sold video. Yes. Line that up. This is going to New York State, so uh, Cubic probably won't be an option. It's probably just regular priority mail. There are two puffy for regional rate, but since it's close, the regional rate may not have made sense anyway. So, yep. Okay. Scale. That is two pounds, 14 ounces. Awesome. Got it under three pounds. That's what I like. 
two pounds, 14 ounces. Okay, on eBay, Priority Mail is $7.45. A regional rate A box is 20 cents cheaper, but they wouldn't have fit anyway. So uh, $7.45, we are going to check Pirate Ship just to make sure. I got a, either a message or uh, an offer. Mm, I may accept that. I don't know. I'll have to look at it here in a second. Let me finish packing this up. So anyway, check Pirate Ship. This is uh, two pounds, 14 ounces, $7 and 45 cents. Two pounds, 14 ounces, 12 by 12 by eight. Yeah, same price, 7.45. So eBay it is. Okay, purchase postage. I got to remember to change my printer back over because I changed it to my inkjet and change it back to my Dymo. Once the label pops up, that is. It's thinking real hard about it. There we go. Okay, change it back over to Dymo for Excel. And there's the second one. Okay. Fifty-one watching. Awesome. Fifty-one watching with thirty thumbs up. I appreciate that. You guys are awesome. Well, thanks, Marcy. Thanks for popping in. The pick and roll talks about the the cost difference between FedEx and you. You, you know, the postal service, and it, it is. It's crazy. Like with that package, I just put packaged up. Over fifty dollars down to twenty five. It's just mind boggling. <laughs> I'm too shaky. Every time I threaten to quit, they up my salary. I guess that's good and bad. I don't. Know. Uh, Anissa, if I don't know if you're a top rated seller, but if you're a top rated seller, you get a top rated seller discount on eBay. And even if not, if you go through PayPal, uh, PayPal usually gives you commercial commercial plus pricing. And I am a firm believer in churning for credit card points. I do that as well. Uh, before I um, package anything, I empty my PayPal account out and uh, it charges my backup funding source, which I forgot to do actually. It's okay on FedEx because FedEx just gets charged. But uh when it charges my backup funding sources, it charges my credit card, and we turn those points for uh, vacations. So, yeah. So, same principle as you with the little bit of cash back on the PayPal card, but got to find what works best for you. Let's see here. And also pay on my on that card. I also do all my sourcing on that card. I pay all my eBay fees on that card. So I turn that card for a lot of points off this business. Two fifty five thirty four. Oops. Well, that's awesome, Patrick. An eighteen hundred dollar sale. Those are few and far in between, aren't they? PayPal's being funky. Of course, PayPal won't let me transfer my money for some reason. Okay. Um, let's just get out of that and I'll come back to it. Let's look at the eBay offer. See what they offered up. new offer i have a jacket brand new with the tags for listed for 80 bucks plus shipping and somebody offered 50 plus shipping so what do you guys think 
what what I look at when I look at this is that how long have I had it and all that stuff. And I've had this for a while. So I think I'm going to accept their offer, you know. At least they offered over 50%, which is, you know, seems like the norm on this stuff. So I'm going to accept that offer. It's, it's just being shipped to Maryland, so. There we go. Accepted. Like that sound. Now let's hope they pay quickly. I know people talk about you can counter for like a dollar more and they have to pay immediately, but you know, that's a you know almost a guaranteed sell. So I've haven't had any non paying bidders in a while. So let's uh, hopefully that exactly i'm too shaky uh D he says dave ramsey says to cut up all your credit cards i disagree because i only charge what i can pay off exactly and that's exactly what we do i, I we turn the credit card so hard it pays for our vacations literally because of the business so but it's all on you know your own situation you gotta have the discipline to pay it off um yeah and that all kinds of different stuff but Uh, d depends on your philosophy, pick and roll. It depends on your philosophy. He said that uh, fast nickel worth more than slow dime. Yeah, it's, it's you know, for me, it's how long I've had an item. Like if I just listed that and he's offering $30 less, I'm probably not going to take it, you know, especially if I really believe the item is worth what I listed it at. So, yeah, see, and this is in that same situation right now. You've had it listed for four days, and uh, that's a you know seventy dollars off is significant. If you and that's the bad thing about eBay is they deal in dollars. Like somebody offered a uh, one hundred and thirty on your two hundred dollar item. Well, percentage wise, what is that? That's a uh, that's like thirty five percent off. You know, I think twenty percent off is probably more reasonable, especially a short amount of times you've had it listed. So. And Craig has another point there, how much you have in the item. If you need the capital, you know, there's all kinds of different factors, you know. And one, one shoe doesn't, you know, one size doesn't fit all, you know. Variety of factors and possibilities and all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to see if this mug is hanging on my wall or if it's in my bins. If it's my bins, uh, <laughs> which I think it may be. Let me go look at my wall here in a second. It's just around the corner here. Got all kinds of mugs hanging up over here. And there's a bunch of them. Oh, it is on my wall. Oh, I'm glad it was on my wall. While I'm over here, I'm gonna get some bubble wrap for it. Okay. I've got the mug. You get these hangers out of the way. Ooh. See, I'm always kicking stuff and running into stuff. Yep. With my mugs that have been hanging up, I always give them a, another wipe down because dust, you know, accumulates on them and that kind of stuff. When they're in the bins, I, st I still give them a quick wipe down because, you know, you just want to make sure people get their items in the best condition possible. I'll wrap it up in my bubble wrap. And this one's going to the West Coast as well. This one's going all the way to Washington State. Here we go. I've been, I haven't done the numbers for the year, but I still, I mean, I'm just guessing, but I probably sell 10 to 12 coffee mugs a month, you know, and that's a few hundred dollars a month just in one item. So that's why I do them. It's not, you know, there are, you know, better bang for your buck items, but, uh, 
pretty easy to list. They're pretty easy to store. Be picky when you're buying them, and they're pretty easy items to flip. Sorry the tape is so loud. I know it's loud. Okay, you can get some paper. Oh, my paper's right here. Got a lot of stuff to do today, but I really need to uh, scour Facebook Marketplace for more packing paper. I'm running super low. I can usually find it for free on Facebook Marketplace. And free. Let's do it. Okay. So, this will be the last one if that guy doesn't pay for that jacket pretty quick. Paper towels in the way. This one's probably under two pounds. Uh, and then since it's going to Washington State, cubic is probably the way to go on this one. We'll check both. It's one pound, four ounces. And I bet cubic is the way to go. But let's look and see. So one pound, four ounces. On eBay. Yeah, it's going to Washington State. So eBay, uh, $10.48. So let's look at pirate ship. Number six, one pound, four ounces. Yeah. Eight dollars and forty-six cents. So went from ten dollars forty-eight cents on eBay, eight dollars and forty-six cents. So two dollars and two cents difference. I'll take that. That's straight money. So let's get it. Love cubic ship, <laughs> and I can pretty much tell, you know, the size of an item, where it's going, if it's going to be better cubic ship or not. You know, you've seen. And that's just uh, experience, getting the feel of things. Okay, get it. 846, buy label. Okay, print label. There is a couple extra steps on Pirate Ship, but it's takes just a few seconds to save two bucks and printed Bingo. okay so that was fun saved a little money saved a lot of money on fedex saved a little bit of money on a pirate ship so i made the sale made money and uh Save money by shipping as well. Shipping smartly. I'll get back over in the chat here in a minute, guys. I'm going to copy this tracking number over onto eBay. And be done. Okay, that's it. That's all the items shipped. We got one pending payment. Our second sale of the day. So the day has started off with a bang so far. Two sales, two pretty good sales. Ooh, let me see what's going on over here. Scroll up a little bit. Yeah, people head on over and subscribe to Craig and Land Shark Picker. Craig's a good dude. He's always helpful, knowledgeable. So go help him out.
Like I said, I got tons of help this morning from Scott, the bearded picker. I got a hundred subscriptions just from him this morning. It was amazing. And I, I didn't do a show just to get subscriptions. Don't get me wrong. I didn't do it at all. I like Scott. He does a good show. He's, he's knowledgeable. He knows his stuff. So. Craig, you cross posting to Posh some. Yeah. I think Justin said he, he started today as well, cross posting. And I do cross post to Posh selectively. So. I think Scott is going to do that. Uh, Anissa, uh, Anissa says, I hope Scott does a beginner A to Z class. I need the basics. And I think he's going to do that. Uh, he's mentioned. Uh, doing something like that because it can be confusing you know to people who do it all the time it seems easy but it, it can be confusing doing a fba and me too craig craig talking about the label printers and uh yeah i remember that too you having to hand write labels and take them to the post office and then we went into regular printers regular ink jets if you're lucky laser jets Uh, Linda says, I have a personal eBay account with 1600 feedback at 100%. If I open a store on my eBay account, will I only be able to list a few items to start out with? No. Linda, there's different subscription levels. The lowest subscription level is 250 and it goes up to 1,000 and then 10,000 items. So It sounds like your eBay account's a little bit older, so you're probably unlimited, but you can check that on your My eBay page as far as your uh, number of uh, sales and uh, amounts of sales. Reseller man asks, with uh, Pirate Ship, how do you pay for your labels? Can you use PayPal? Yes, you can use PayPal. I use my credit card, you know, because I turn, which I've covered. So, yes. You can use PayPal. Pick and Flipter picked up eight, I guess you mean subscribers from being in the chat. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. That's what we're all here for. We all like helping each other. Uh, yeah. Especially if you, you know, it's not that you have to prove yourself, but if you, if you're, you know, <laughs> I said not you don't have to prove yourself, but if you've proven reliable and you're really interested and you're here to learn and and pass on knowledge, yeah. Twenty four picker says I have an inkjet, yeah, and a lot of people still do that. That FedEx label I just printed out was an inkjet printer sitting right there. Yeah. Randy asks, "Is Etsy better for vintage?" I do list most of my uh, vintage stuff on Etsy. I will cross post it on eBay as well, but uh, Etsy is, you know, it's pretty slow just to be honest, you know, but I do cross post because, you know, any exposure you can get is, you know, better than no exposure. A 24 picker. Talking about taco stacks. I love taco stacks videos. I think he's a cool dude. You know, I used to uh, recycle stuff when I was in Missouri. When I was in Missouri, I had five acres of land. So if I saw something metal, I could pick it up. I had trailers. I had a place to put it. And I kind of did the same thing he does. But here, I just don't have the uh, ability to store that stuff. I loved picking up free stuff and making a few bucks here and there. It was easy. Yeah, Scott says link to PayPal debit to Pirate Ship and get 1% cash back. Yeah, you can do the PayPal debit card or if you, you know, whatever your credit situation is, you can get uh, any of the cash back cards. We personally have a uh, Hilton American Express. We list everything. So like I said, we take vacations every year just off points churning off the Hilton card. So. Yeah, Etsy's fairly easy. Anissa, yeah, watch Taco Stacks. Yeah, I mean, he's a cool guy, too. I mean, you can tell he's just a down-to-earth guy. 
but he has over a hundred thousand subscribers. So <laughs> he's doing. You should go watch the, his most. Well, it's not his most recent, but the this video there. He opened up all the Christmas presents people sent to him. Oh my gosh, people sent him all kinds of stuff. I didn't even get a Christmas card. <laughs> uh, I don't expect anything. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it was, it's a really interesting video, though. People sent him stuff from all over the world. Germany, Australia. It was crazy. Taco is a, is a pretty cool, pretty cool guy. Oh, uh, Anissa, I have a serial thumbs downer. It's no big deal. What they don't realize, they thumbs down it. That's an interaction. So it's the same to the uh, algorithm. So whatever. If it makes them feel better about themselves, I don't care. Yeah, he lives in like very rural Pennsylvania. I'm pretty sure 24 Picker says, uh, watch for sourcing. He doesn't talk about figures much. He can't get enough internet to do live either. No. Yeah, he lives in the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania. Which, which honestly is only like four hours north of me. He lives like four hours north of me directly. So, uh, Linda says she has she has been on eBay since 2013. I wanted to start a store and keep it separate from my personal eBay account. Yeah, honestly, Linda, I wouldn't. You know, I because, like you said, you have 1,600 feedback. You have a solid account history. Use it. You know, no, no need to start over. The only reason to start over is if you use the new one as zero feedback for your personal account, you know, and then starting out, you can just buy a few small things and build up from there. But for selling, use your main one. Oh, <laughs> and it's funny, uh, Anissa, because I had someone else ask that. So I put my address in the uh, description. I have a PO box. But uh, yeah, don't feel like you have to send anything. But somebody asked for it, so I did put it in my description. I think Scott does the same thing. Yeah, I love that Christmas video that Taco Stacks did as well. I thought it was it was just awesome. Watch the whole thing. Yeah, I don't think anyone's done that, Hawk. Uh, I have to think about that one. I have this really cool vintage screen, and maybe I'll throw a quick video up about cross. I mean, it's basically just you create a posting on eBay, create a posting on Etsy, and a lot of people do things differently. But if I cross post something on my custom SKU section on eBay, I'll put cross posted to Etsy, cross posted to Poshmark, you know, wherever I cross posted to, so I can keep track of it. Yeah, and it's a rural Pennsylvania. Yep. You're true. A lot of people don't talk about Etsy a lot because it's just not that busy. I'm sure there's some YouTubers out there, but uh, I mean, honestly, I would cover it in my sold video, but I haven't sold anything on Etsy in months. But uh, with that being said, I don't have a ton of stuff listed on there. I have like 40 or 50 things listed on there. So. Oh, you live up in uh, uh, Pennsylvania, Anissa? So yeah, he may be. He's He's up there. I don't know exactly where he maybe have mentioned it or maybe you can watch his videos and recognize some stuff, you know, so. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, get my cheat sheet here. Hell yeah. L said buy some stuff and build. Yeah. That's what I say. Use your, that main eBay account to sell stuff and just build your second account, buying a few things here and there. Exactly. 100%. Oh, no problem, Linda. That's what we're here for. We like everybody here is helpful, you know. Yeah, no, he's definitely in Pennsylvania, Anissa. Definitely. Have people keep their Etsy lockdown secret? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Uh, Reseller man says they sell stuff all the time on Etsy, but they're vinyl decals. That's cool. Maybe you should start doing videos about those. Larry's in Pennsylvania also. <laughs> Scott, your Etsy a secret. That's, that's cool. Uh, pick and flippers ordering a new shipping skill on Amazon. Yeah, I've been contemplating that. And that's one thing I haven't uh, made the jump on because I want one of those, a scale with a bigger bed like a 
you know, 18 by 18 at least, or maybe even a 24 by 24 bed with the uh, detachable uh, readout. But there's so many like vast, vi wide variety of views and reviews and opinions on them. I haven't made the jump yet. I got several things for Christmas. I got a microphone, which I haven't hooked up yet. A boom mic, a Yeti blue a boom mic. And uh, what else did I get for flipping? I think I got some other stuff. I just can't can't remember. It, it may Hawk. Uh, it, Hawk says he does vintage cookware. It may do better on Etsy, and it, it very well may. Uh, it very well may do like club pots and stuff or Le Creuset. We find Lake Rose stuff all the time and it probably would resell well, but we keep it. It's all in my kitchen. I want to do a video sometime in the new year about all the stuff around my house in my kitchen, the furniture and stuff that we have picked up at thrift stores and auctions and stuff over the years. Cause it's a lot of stuff. Our house is pretty much stocked with stuff from thrift stores and auctions. Good stuff too. Really good stuff. The pick and uh, pick and flipper. Um, I'll pick up your name now. He says he's getting by with the kitchen scale. And that's what this one underneath these boxes are. It's just a little kitchen scale. I have a bigger, heavier duty one back there, but I rarely use it because it doesn't go down to like tenths. Tenths. <laughs> My uh, Southern accent doesn't work well with the word tenths. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, AirPods is a good, awesome gift, Anissa. I got some AirPods for my wife as well. She loves them. <laughs> oh, chat's flying. 53 watching and 42. I don't think I've ever seen a percentage like that. 52 watching and 42 thumbs up. That's how awesome you guys are. Wow. I don't think anyone ever has a percentage like that. <laughs> oh, I think that guy paid. Did you hear that? He did. We can ship something else. So let's ship something else. The uh, jacket that he bought is out in the garage. Whoops, let me tilt my camera up so you're not looking at my mid-drift. Okay. So I'm going to go grab that jacket. Let me make sure. I may have two of these. Let me make sure I get the right size. Print labels and ship. Well, maybe I do only have one of them. Yeah. I think I only have one. Okay, bear it back. Not to the garage for a second. Here it is. I love it when I know exactly where something is. Well, I know if it's a coder jacket, it's in my garage. <laughs> Hanging up in the garage. Like I said, this is going really close to me. This is just going up to Maryland, which is literally 30 minutes from me. Let me see here. Okay. I'll just use a Need some more. Yeah, let's just use one of these. Yeah. I like using the priority mailboxes because they're free. <laughs> if you can make it work, use a priority mailbox. And this can work because it's going close and it's going to be over a pound anyway. Give them a quick look over, even if you know it's been stored in the garage, so the 
cats can't get to them or anything, but I still give them a good once over look. Make sure there's no stray hair, fuzz, or, and that looks good. That actually fits quite well in that box. A puffy jacket. Get it taped up tight. appreciate all you guys just watching in because I don't know people have different perceptions of themselves and when I first started doing this I was like I don't know if I have that personality to pull this off it's actually I'm a pretty mellow mild-mannered person Oops. but uh but you guys have been just awesome supporting me the way you have and the channel growing the way it has. There's people in the chat every day that's been with me since before I, you know, when I had less than 10 subs, you know. So all these months, and I really appreciate it. I really do. Two pounds, 10 ounces. So don't get sappy. Two pounds, 10 ounces. I guarantee it's going to be cheapest just right through eBay. Yeah, six dollars and ninety-eight cents. I'm just going to print it off here because I know for a one hundred percent fact this is the cheapest rate because <laughs> it's so close to me. Okay. All right. Now we're waiting on some more sales. So everything is packed up. Everything is ready to go. You can hear that cha-ching coming in any minute now, right? <laughs> okay. Let's see what I missed here. Missed a lot of stuff, so. <laughs> okay, guys, let me see here. Well, anybody, if anybody else has any questions, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to wrap it up here in a few minutes. been going on over an hour, so. Well, thanks, Don. I appreciate it. Kent, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. You're a solid dude. That's all I can ask to be is a solid dude, you know. <laughs> uh, Pick and Roll asks, do you do Amazon as well? Yes, I do, and that's one of the things Scott and I was talking about this morning. I have done FBA with a professional account, but I shifted to Merchant Fulfilled just because I wasn't getting enough to send Amazon, but that's kind of one of the things I want to do in 2019 is uh, gear back up my professional account and get some FBA going. I like FBA. I mean, it's harder because it's different sourcing than I normally do. But I like it because I just send this stuff off and I, you know, don't have to have it stored down here, which I'm pretty much maxed out on. Yeah, Craig, it does. Craig says it takes some time setting, standing there, talking to the camera. It does. I mean, and these are easy videos like my uh, my haul videos on Tuesday and my what sold videos on Friday. Those take time because, you know, different takes, getting the sound right, which my last video, the sound was kind of, eh, we were kind of in a hurry because it was a Christmas when uh, my wife edits them and it takes her a lot of time to do that. And uh, she's awesome for doing that because she works full-time job. Because if I edit them, they wouldn't look near as good as they do. <laughs> uh, let me see here. I don't know what we missed in this. I must have missed something as well. Thanks for thanks for subscribing to to him, Hawk. Uh, a lot of people in here, good people, go subscribe to him. You know, it's about about spreading the spreading the love. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's okay. Picking. I mean, yeah. Messaging, you know, do what you need to do. Make some sales. <laughs> That's all right, Anissa. Scott's got enough <laughs> stuff. He doesn't need a. He doesn't need a commission. <laughs> Thanks, guys. 
Pick and roll is Steve. Okay, let me knock that down. Note that down. Pick and roll is Steve. Gotcha. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. It is, Anissa. I mean, there's a segment of uh, some people that are in the reselling, flipping stuff that are more bombastic, but you know who they are, you know, and there's us that are just more normal people that do the work, do the job, <laughs> do the stuff. <laughs> yeah. And it's pretty obvious who is who, you know. Thanks, Kathy. Kathy is a new subscriber. Just watch you on the beer picker. Yep. Thanks, Kathy. I appreciate it. Scott, because of him, I got 100 new subscribers today. Yeah, that's crazy, Shay. Right now, it's, it's 47 watching and 50 thumbs up. I don't think I've ever seen more thumbs up than people watching <laughs> ever. <laughs> so it's weird. It's awesome, though. It just shows the quality of people in the chat, you know, that give the, the thumbs up. Because those interactions count, you know, towards the... Uh, you know, the YouTube algorithm, the search algorithm and stuff, it helps. It really does help the channel. Wow, I'm at 939, Craig. Wow, I've even picked up like 34 more off of Scott's channel. So that's 134 subs I've picked up from being on Scott's show. Wow. I never in a million years, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I use that term loosely, Scott, normal, uh, very loosely, especially, especially with, with you, but, <laughs> uh, oh, there goes one of my dogs upstairs. That was just Friday though. I can trust Friday. But I think that is it guys. Um, um, I want to thank Justin from RVA Flips. He helped me with my Amazon affiliate links. They're over in the description. So if you need to buy anything or recommendations on anything like my Dymo printer, or the tape I use, the bubble wrap, or anything, anything over there, stuff I use. So if you want to buy something through those, you need something, buy it through theirs, and we get a few pennies off that. So uh, I appreciate it if you do that. Um, but thanks, all you guys, for tuning in. You guys are awesome. All the new subscribers. Um, I didn't see any patrons in here, but you guys are awesome too. 54 upvotes and 46 watching. I don't think it's ever happened before. <laughs> I'm sure it has. I'm just kidding. But thanks guys. Uh, we will see you guys soon and watch for our what sold video tomorrow, uh, dropping tonight for patrons tomorrow on YouTube. Thanks guys. Thanks a million. We'll see you later.